Hi, I'm Nico and welcome to my channel. If you have been building Gunpla for a while now and you want to step up your game or you're looking for a new challenge, you're probably thinking about painting your own kits. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all how I prepare my Gunpla for painting. There is definitely a lot of preparation needed before you start actually painting your Gunpla kits. So let's get on with the video. The first step is to obviously build your Gunpla kit. Now a lot of people do this differently. Some remove everything from the runners before assembling, and others will go by the manual. So build it however you want to. Uh, you don't have to change anything about your building process just because you're going to paint. So after you have snap built your gun kit and got familiar with the parts and where everything goes, it's time to clean up the imperfections. Personally, I don't really clean up the nub marks while building. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. First, I'll disassemble the kit into subparts, and then I usually start with the chest. I remove the armor parts and start cleaning up the nub marks as I go. After cleaning up the knob marks, I like to sand everything with a 600 or an 800 grit. This will get rid of any shallow imperfections and sink marks, and also makes the primer stick on better since the surface is not too smooth. Now this next step is not mandatory. I know not everyone does this, but I do. So after the knob mark removal, I like to re-scribe the existing panel lines and designs as well as the edges and corners of every single part and make them deeper. I don't do this because I want to spend more time on a kit, but because if you put panel liner directly onto a piece, it's not gonna be the best. There are no grooves for the panel liner to run through, and even if you are good at cleaning, it would kinda be hard to get something um, super clean. So, I run a scriber all over the edges and corners of an armor part as well as on the existing panel lines. I do this because it makes the pieces well defined and gives the impression that it could be separated into different panels and also helps a ton with the panel liner. For master grades, using a 0.15 or a 0.1 is good for this technique. I know most people think that chisels are just for custom builds but they are also very useful for straight builds as well. Plus, doing this is a nice practice for when you actually want to try adding your own panel lines. And then the final step is to throw everything in a basin or a bowl, add some water and dishwashing soap, and mix it all together. <laughs> so the reason we clean it up with soap is to remove the dust and dirt left from sanding as well as oil from our hands. I have tried not washing my parts before painting, and while I manage to make it work, I don't advise it. Basically, if you skip this step, there's a possibility that paint or primer won't stick to the parts, at least if you're using acrylics. I don't know if it's the same with lacquers, but I imagine it is. So just wash your parts, or use an ultrasonic cleaner if you're fancy. <laughs> You can also wear gloves while handling your gunpla, but you still need to wash it to remove the dirt and dust. So yeah, there's no avoiding this step. And moving on, we obviously have to let the parts dry. Some people lay out tissues and let it air dry overnight or for a day. I'm impatient, so normally I use a big towel, throw all the parts on there, and then get a smaller towel to further dry the parts and then I stick them with alligator clips and onto the scratch board. Yes, the one for cats. <laughs> Thank you. 
want to see more work in progress and final photos as well as tutorials and early access to my videos, do consider checking out my Patreon at the link below. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you found this useful and in the next video, I'll be sharing how to prime your gunpla kits. Thanks for watching!